Looking back in the 70s. All right, we've done it. We've made it to the last day of hurricane season of what has been another just extremely active season. We went through our entire list. Our last system we had was Wanda. Our first system was Anna, uh, and it was a long season. Our two storms that we dealt with, of course, Ida. We all remember Ida, but remember Cristobal, uh, not Cristobal. Now I blinked on the name. It was earlier back in um, in June, we had that little minimal system that moved through. Uh, but overall, you know, a lot of the United States fared fairly well compared to the 2020 season. Now, Ida was the big storm, of course, for most of us and even up into the New York area. But we had the storms out in the Atlantic. We had uh, Sam and Larry, which were some big storms that stayed out in the Atlantic and curved up to the north. And overall, um, the big storm was Ida. Now, we ended up with 21 named storms, and that is above average. Our average for uh, an entire season over the past 30 years is about 14 named storms. Um, a year hurricane wise. We had seven hurricanes on average. We usually have about seven hurricanes, so that was normal, but we did have uh, four major hurricanes compared to an average of three. So when you look at the scope of the entire season, it was uh, above average, just like the past multiple years have been above average. So a very, very busy one. Ida and Sam were both the strongest hurricanes that we saw. Sam was the one that stayed way out in the Atlantic, really didn't affect anyone. And it was a major hurricane for days and days and days. Ida, of course, made landfall right now at 150 miles an hour. But remember, the National Hurricane Center goes back, they do their reanalysis, and they determine are those winds that they had at landfall uh, the day of, were those accurate? So they're going to go back, and they're already going through the data, I'm sure. And usually Usually by uh, the time we get to early spring, maybe late winter, we start getting some of these reanalysis projects back on the bigger storm. So we're going to wait and see uh, and see if they classify it. Maybe uh, does it stay a cat four? Does it bump up to a cat five? We're just going to have to wait and see. They dig through an enormous amount of data and make sure it is the most accurate. So that's what we'll be waiting for probably in the next couple of months, I imagine. Our